today we're going to be changing a front suspension on the Apollo City. The tools we need for this repair are an adjustable wrench, two 6mm Allen keys, two 5mm Allen keys, a 4mm and a 2.5mm Allen key. So in order to change the front suspension of the Apollo City, the first thing we need to do is free the front wheel from the forks in order to gain better access. So to do that, the first thing we're going to do is deinstall the screws, securing the front fender and the drum brake. So I'm going to start with a drum brake using a 4mm Allen key. Now I'm going to grab my 2.5mm Allen key and do the same thing for the screws securing the fender. There are two more on the opposite side of the fender, of the wheel, I should say, uh, in the same spot securing the fender. The next thing to do is to grab your wrench. If you don't have an adjustable wrench, these lug nuts are 21 millimeters. Now these lock washers tend to stay pretty secure, so I like to just tighten up my wrench and give them a bit of a pry. You can use almost anything for this. Now that everything that's securing the wheel to the front forks is loose and uninstalled, I should be able to just push them out of the dropouts. The fender will snap off. You can just put that down for now. And I'm going to let the front motor sort of cradle in my lap here. If you want to let it hang, that's okay for maybe a minute or so. I don't like to, to test anything and cause any stress on the, the motor cable. So it's better if you let it rest on your lap or maybe you have a small stool, something to make sure it's not stressing the cables. Our next step is to remove the top part of the front suspension. To do that, you need two five millimeter Allen keys. If you only have one, the whole piece that secures it will just spin in place and you won't be able to free the screw. So you need one in the back to keep it secure and the other one to actually take off. It's possible that you'll remove the side of the screw and not the whole pin piece, in which case you might need a punch to simply knock it out of this channel here. I need a punch to knock out the screw on the other side. Actually, I can just pull it. So now the front suspension should just be able to bend up and down like that. And we're almost there. The next thing I need to do is to loosen these swing arms on the front forks uh, because the bottom part of the suspension is only secured by the forks coming together and squeezing it. So same idea with the top here, you need two Allen keys, one to secure it and the other to actually spin. Now that I have one side free, I can just begin pulling the forks apart. And just like that, you can remove the front suspension, the whole piece looks like this. Now you're gonna take your replacement suspension Fit the bottom part in. You want to make sure that you're careful not to pinch this motor cable when you're putting it in. And now it's just a matter of taking this hole, I'll show you the other side, this hole and this hole and lining them up with these two rods. And you want this brake line cable to go inside here and over top between these two and push it in. Now we can take the screw from here and use our six millimeter Allen keys to install it. Next thing we can do is reinstall the top part of the suspension 
finding our long piece. Just sticking it right through. And this uses the five millimeter Allen keys. Nice and tight. Now all that's left is to reinstall the wheel into the front forks, get it all secure, and we'll be good to go. So I've got my front fender on the wheel. Uh, and now I'm just going to push it into the dropouts like that, holding it up with my leg. Uh, if the forks are too tight for you to get the wheel on easily, you can always loosen this piece here, pull the two swing arms apart by half a centimeter or so, give yourself enough space, and then once it's here and the wheel is resecured, tighten it up again. So I've done that. I'm going to just push these back a little bit. So now I'm going to put on my lock washers. I'm going to put on my lug nuts, just finger tight so the wheel doesn't fall out. Uh, because I had to loosen the swing arms up top here to get the wheel in, I'm going to retighten that now. Make sure it's all nice and secure. So our next step is just to line up the drum brake and the front fender, making sure the threaded holes in those pieces are aligned with the holes in the swing arms so we can install the screws easily. around a bit with the drum brake. Use my four millimeter Allen key. Same process with the fender. And I can feel right away, now it's good. Once you have one in, the rest should go in quite easily because it will be aligned. Secure the fender on the other side, of course. Sure, our lug nuts are nice and tight. And that's it. We've just changed the front suspension on an Apollo City. This is the same on Apollo City 22 or 23 or the regulars versus the pro versions. Same process for everything.